two individuals associated with the mongrel mob, have been sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder of an innocent bystander in Gisborne. The sentencing took place in the High Court at Gisborne on July 21, 2023, following an eight-day trial where they were found guilty. Patched mongrel mob member George Walker, 37, and his partner, mongrel mob associate Mercedes Grace, 31, were found guilty by a jury in the High Court. The victim, Mariah Smith, was a mother of six and grandmother of two. On her 36th birthday, on March 25, 2022, she was fatally shot on Taitoki Street. Story starts last year, when on a night filled with tension, a party on Taitoki Street took a troubling turn, as conflicts arose between two sworn enemy gangs, the mongrel mob and their traditional art rivals, the Black Power. Both came face to face for a chilling confrontation, intensifying the already tense atmosphere of the night. As the bitter animosity between the two gangs collided, a dangerous and a highly charged and precarious situation emerged, leading to tragic consequences. Mongrel mob couple George Walker and Mercedes Grace, found themselves in the midst of this escalating situation. The couple had been spending their weekend at Taitoki Street, visiting their friends for a party when a car on the street was vandalized by members of the Black Power. Noticing the incident, Grace decided to confront the group, which escalated into a physical altercation, ultimately causing her to injure her hand. Seeing her partner's injured hand. In a fit of anger, Walker retaliated, by ramming his ute into a car belonging to the Black Power members. The rammed car was pushed into the neighbor's fence. Following their heated altercation, the couple drove back to their residence on Childers Street, still consumed by anger. They retrieved a .303 rifle and returned to Taitoki Street. Walker took the loaded gun while Grace drove the vehicle. Upon arrival, Walker fired two shots in the direction of the Black Power members, he was going for the kill. He misfired, and tragically hit Mariah Smith, an innocent victim who was also out on the street and was asking the Black Power members to remove the rammed car from her home fence. The victim had no connections with either gang. Police were called to the scene at 9.45 p.m. on March 25, 2022, where she was declared dead. A homicide investigation ensued, leading to the couple's arrest in Auckland in April of the same year. They appeared in the Monacau District Court and were remanded in custody, with their trial commencing in the Gisborne High Court. The eight-day jury trial started in May 2023. The Crown's case was that Walker had intended to shoot and kill one of the Black Power members, and that Grace knew it had been his intention. Justice Peter Churchman sentenced Walker to life in jail with a minimum non-parole period of 11 years and 6 months, and Grace to life in jail with a minimum non-parole period of 11 years. According to victims' family, the community has been deeply saddened by this senseless act of violence, leaving a void that cannot be filled. The court's decision to hand down life sentences reflects the seriousness of the crime committed by the couple. The memory of Mariah Smith will be cherished by her loved ones. Mariah and her partner Nesta had six children, aged from 4 to 19, and two grandchildren, the youngest was born about a week before Mariah died. Mariah's partner Nesta died of a heart attack early last year. This incident is another unfortunate result of the fierce gang rivalry which is widespread in New Zealand. In the backdrop of New Zealand's serene landscapes and friendly reputation, a darker underbelly exists, marked by the fierce conflict between these two prominent gangs. Their long-standing animosity began over territorial control, criminal enterprises, and social influence. Over time, these rivalries have led to numerous violent clashes and criminal activities, making them significant challenges for law enforcement agencies in New Zealand. Both gangs have their own sets of values, rules, and initiation rights, further solidifying their identities and creating a sense of loyalty among their members. To many young individuals growing up in disadvantaged neighborhoods, these gangs offer a sense of family and protection, which can sometimes lead them down a dangerous path. Despite their violent histories, both Mongrel Mob and Black Power have made attempts to transform their public image by engaging in community outreach programs, aiming to provide support and opportunities to their members. However, the gang's criminal activities continue to cast shadows over these efforts. New Zealand authorities have also been working diligently to address gang-related issues, focusing on prevention, intervention, and rehabilitation. 
several initiatives aim to steer vulnerable youth away from gang involvement and toward education and employment opportunities. Efforts to reduce gang violence and crime in New Zealand go hand in hand with addressing the underlying issues of poverty, education, and social inequality. As New Zealand continues its efforts to combat gang violence and improve the lives of vulnerable communities, a comprehensive strategy that focuses on prevention, intervention, and rehabilitation remains crucial. Only through collective action can the country hope to create safer neighborhoods and put an end to unfortunate and brutal incidences that tragically take the lives of innocent members of society. Such senseless loss of life not only devastates families and communities but also highlights the urgency of breaking the cycle of violence perpetuated by these rival gangs. To achieve lasting change, it is essential to address the root causes that drive individuals towards gang involvement, offering them viable alternatives and pathways to a brighter future. By investing in education, mental health support, and social programs, we can empower individuals to break free from the grips of crime and find purpose in constructive endeavors.